For those of you who don't know, my recording schedule looks like this. I record all my videos on Monday, with Friday being the first video. And then after that, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And now for those who also don't know, sometimes during streams, I'll put I'll put on background music, so that way there's not as much silence going on. Well, for this week, I forgot to turn that off. And well... What sucks more is that I beat Toho 12 on normal mode there, so I have to do it again without the background noise. And you're about to see just how livid I became. Anyways, begin. Hello everyone, I am Kudafo. I hit this game, yep, so I already played it, and but then I found out apparently some background music, which I had during the stream, hey, was uh, also playing. So to help for that, I'm going to try to beat it again, and I was able to do it. So, hope you all enjoy. Let's begin. Are we going with who we were before? Well, who we were. Y yeah. Anyways, let's go. Hi guys, it's Wingy. Happy Friday. Do anything fun? Anything cool? Let me know. I'm always curious. Now then, let's try to beat this again. Well, for me again. <clears throat> Not for you again. I'll try to do what I did before. If I can. You have Nazarene the rat. Because that's exactly what you are. A rat. There we go. Keep at it. And don't be afraid to use spell cards. Gotcha. That thing is flying so fast, I'm not gonna catch up to it. I'm not half hearted about it. Yet Sokia is so cramped and small. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going in such a hurry? Little Dozer Gen Nazarene. Out of my way. Hmm, you were here before. Two little gr little gray yokai. I don't have the time to deal with small animals like it dies easily like you. Really? Too bad. Even as we speak, that treasure ship is getting far away. Far away. Treasure ship? You mean that thing flying in the sky? Oh, you are you stupid? Did you really think that's a treasure ship? Fine, whatever, I'm stupid. Now get out of my way. If you're looking for treasure, don't look in the sky. It's lost, packed away in kitchen nooks and crannies. Go! I was able to do this once before. I can do it again. Seek search signs. Rare metal detector. Vision sign. Nazarene's pendulum. Yeah, this one's annoying. So, why don't we just... Get rid of it. Ah, it disappeared into the clouds. I guess I have to go further into the clouds. But I bet there's tons of yoke out there. Ugh. Next one. Wait for it. Now! There!
these bombs apparently actually helped quite a lot. Especially for certain moves. Certain annoying moves. There we go. Go. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Hang on just a minute. What? You're just a plain old yokai. You don't have to be so mean. I've had lots of free time lately. I'm chasing that ship right in front of us. I don't have time for it to waste on small fry like you. Oh, we can play with the cheery forgotten umbrella. Kogasa Tatara. While you're chasing that ship, can't you? <laughs> it must be nice to be a yokai with spare time. Even if you only exist to be exterminated. Still, there are too many to take care of them all. So I'll leave you for next time. This is why humans aren't any fun. Why can't you just make time for me? Should you plan extra time and your schedule? You can go find the treasure ship anytime. Every time is pointless for me right now. I don't want to waste a single second. But the pointlessness is what's really beautiful. It would be terrible if everything in life were all planned out. Even tools aren't beautiful but just because they're functional. The useless parts are what make us yokai. Why am I getting lectured by a cursed umbrella? Fine, I'll beat you while I chase it, okay? Time to go down. Again. <laughs> This time without the background music playing. Because that was annoying. It's also annoying that I found that out later. Rainside, a rainy night's ghost story. Now, good monster sign, a forgotten umbrella's night train. Yep, now we're restarting. Fast forward until I get back there. I believe I've already said this one too. Nope. There. Just follow the sky, stupid umbrella yokai. Oh, humans are so cruel. Hey, you look like you wanted me to beat you. Hmm, what do they call that? I don't know, sadism? I think that's opposite, but whatever. I can see the ship now, so thanks for taking me to it. Here we go. Be careful! Q. 
humans, fairies, and all. Everyone seems to be after this ship. Are they after the treasure room? Treasure room? So this really ship really is it. Well, no point in arguing. I'll show no mercy to an enemy. Iron Fist, an unarguable yokai punch. Yep, that's pretty unarguable. Oh, to think that there are still humans, I wouldn't run away from seeing this fist. This sh ship really is a treasure ship, right? It doesn't look there's anything in it, but uh, she ran away. Yes, she did. Grab! Definitely need a lo another life. Just what are you after? Treasure or perhaps your sister's power? Treasure, of course. <sighs> so he doesn't come on Ruffian. The ship looks pretty ble- Oh, I forgot to read her name. Pretty bleak, though. Oh, there it is. The Great Wheel having guard and being guarded. Ichirin Kumoi and Unzan. I regret to have to tell you, but there's no treasure left. What was that? The treasure with the flower to flyer only also brings about changing humans. Most of it has been fallen- Most of it has been lost while our sister's stuff is falling down into the world. Eh, what about all the riches? Riches? Is that what you're after? There never were any. None with any real monetary worth anyway. This really sucks. Eh? I mean, the Shrine Maiden has. Unzan tells me you're after the fragments of flying treasure. Is this true? No, I'm not. Unzan would have no reason to lie. Excellent! You don't have to hide it. You're collecting those fragments flying through the sky, right? You must be trying to revive our sister as well. How awesome! What the heck are you talking about? I just thought there were riches on this treasure ship. It's okay. Now hand over the treasure you found. Nah. Anyways, feel free to go down. You don't get hit anymore. This sign, heavily net sandbag. Sitting up. I should be editing a video right now, but no, I had to forget. Strike, fist smash. Now for the one which I spell car. Oh, never mind. We're not there yet. Thunderous yell is scolding from a traditional old man. You're quite strong. Unsa says he must be a very famous person. But really? Well, that might be. The floating fragments you've collected are necessary for our sister's revival. Now please bring them inside. There's no treasure, right? What a letdown. Well, I guess I have to go see what this chip really is. It doesn't look like I'll get anything for it, though. Nope. Sorry, Ademu.
we go. Yes. Life point. No. Got it! Haha! <laughs> nice! Okay, yeah, okay, there's nothing inside the ship. It'll be good to be done with this investigation. It's so boring! I mean, all that's happening is the ship just flying around. If it's not treasure, then there's no point to it. It's just a box. Is someone there? A human? Or have you also given up your humanity? Huh, looks like I missed something. There's a yokai. I'll have to beat you. I see. You're a human, right? Then uh, you'd better just put down those treasures and leave the ship immediately. They're reaching a destination soon. There won't be any going back then. Destination? Who are you anyway? Oh, where are my manners? I'm Mudasa. The ghost left, left from the shipwreck accident. Captain Minamitsu Mudasa. The captain of this holy palanquin. Captain? The ship will be leaving this land to go to another world where Hijidi is sealed to get away. There will revive he but there will revive he GD, and everyone will be able to forget their troubles. We'll make a paradise where no one can brush us aside. We'll make a liberating future where we can use our powers freely. That paradise is this ship's destination. That's the ideal he GD that's the ideal deal he GD has sought. So, anyone with any lingering connection to this plate world should disembark. What will you do? I don't understand what you're saying, but I understand that this isn't a treasure ship now. It's Devil's Nest where Yokai hide out, isn't it? I can't overlook this. If you can't overlook it, then I'll just have to beat the captain and drop the ship out of the sky. I forgot to mention this, but we also absolutely we absolutely need that treasure in order to get to the other world. The mysterious flying objects that you are ha that, you ha that you have are fragments of the treasure. I mean, you're trying to get all these. So I was hoping you'd cooperate with us, but too bad. It looks like letting you on look, letting you on puts us in danger of sinking. Fall out of the sky, fall out of the ship, and bathe in the cursed oceans. We almost have full spell cards. How fun! Capsize, dragging anchor. Yes. So there are about two with uh, Mudas that I'm likely gonna have to use. Drowning, drowning side, deep vortex. But, dang it! I need to work on getting my lives back. And also watching where I am. What? Harbor sign. Phantom Ship Harbor. Uh, no! Stop that! Watch where you're going! I would've been hit again. We only have four lives remaining. Phantom, sink your ghost. About to only have about four spell cards in a moment.
This power's buried a lot of yokai, hasn't it? That's right, so stop doing bad things, but we're not doing anything bad. Of course you are, you're a yokai, right? I can't just stop being a yokai. Mm, this ship really isn't stopping, isn't it? Even though this captain isn't doing anything, it's in auto mode. Now that I think, now that I know this isn't a treasure ship, I'm not that interested. Now I finally know what this ship really is, but I still have to find out where it's going. Hook to Makai! Anyway though, I need to gain back my lives. But first... Really? Hmm? So you can do Makai too? Hmm, have we met somebody before? Wait, did you say Makai? That's the captain. Does that mean you were singing to Makai? I see. They must have brought you here to Makai with your treasure sometime. Captain Mudas has done a good job. Meanwhile, I've also found the other treasures I've been looking for. Maybe I'll test the power of the Vives of Vana Pagoda on you before I hand it over to my master. Three lives remain. Let's try our best not to lose them, please. Like, please. Jewel Pagoda, greatest treasure. Give me the life point! Ah! This is really not good. You know what? I don't care. Restart.
So this is Makai. That explains why I feel so horrible being here. So they came all the way down here to break a seal or something? That can't be good. I've been waiting for you. You're the human who gathered the flying treasure, yes? You look a lot scrawnier than I imagined. How rude. I'm sorry, you're quite right. I simply thought that if you made if you made it this far, maybe you were some sort of ascetic scholar. But I do mean to learn a lot while I'm here. I am the representative of devoted Hiji Discreet, the disciple of Yavai Zervana, Sho Toramaru. Now that we have the Jeweled Pagoda, Nazarene Pot, as well as the fragments of flying storehouse you possess, we can break the seal here. We can repay our debt of gratitude to Hijiri. The treasure brought. Do you mean these UFO toys? UFO? Uh, I suppose you might look at it that way. Now together, let's bring light into Kohokai, and who cares? I only came this far chasing a treasure ship. A treasure ship? When I took a look inside, the ship was empty. I thought there'd be something on board, and suddenly I was in Makai. I'm sick of all this. There's nothing to be disappointed about. You could call the Holy Palanquin a treasure ship. Eh? Well, the seven gods of luck ride a treasure ship, right? And one of them is Vi one of them by Zavana. He's right here. Isn't that fortunate? Whatever. Looks like I'll just beat you and then beat that sealed whoever and then go home. Very well. If you want to fight me, I'll be your opponent. However, if you chose the wrong path, then you'll have to bear witness to the light of Dharma, which is even brighter here in Makai, and bow down before this pagoda of Vizavana. Here we go. I'm not looking the greatest, but I'm not looking the worst either. Let's just hope it doesn't get any... any uh, y you get it. Jewel Pagoda, Radiant Treasure. I guess you'd be very careful. Maybe best not to talk too much. I will beat this again. I've done it once already. Light sign, absolute justice. Nope, not happening. Who just started? Most valuable va Vajra. Urgh. Did ever mention that this doesn't look good? Not as good as last one. Light time. Demon of purification. Ah, it's really not. I did way better last time. Dang it, why did my background music have to be playing? How wonderful, I can see how you could have gathered the treasure. I could beat someone like, someone like you before breakfast. Well, now that you beat me, what will you do next? Look, the UFO. The, look, you need this UFO toy, right? We, to break the seal? Let's go and see what's being sealed away. Yes, you're new to the group, let's, but let's prepare to break the seal. Hmm, I'll be whoever's sealed away, and then this will all be taken care of. Please don't make fun of it, GD. The seal is open now. Restarting, damn it!
do it again. I'm too determined not to. Okay, come on out. I know you've been sealed in here somewhere, okay? Can't hear anyone. What mysterious place can't sense anyone at all? Oh, the world of Dharma is filled with light. Are you the one who liberated this world? I finally found you. You're those yokai's boss, right? Yokai? Boss? Right, those yokai. We're trying to bring you back. Really? Even though I haven't been able to do anything for them for a hundred years, for that over a thousand years. So, so yokai, you miss me. Well, who are you anyway? My name is Byakuden, the great sealed magician, Byakuden Hijiri. It was to be a monk a long, long time ago. You seem to be a shrine leader, am I right? Did you come here, did you come down here to seal me away and begin? Oh, yes, that's exactly right. You're another oppressor of yokai, aren't you? You know, I realized that gods and Buddhas were, are no more than yokai, but yokai are hated and gods are worshipped. That's because human society should be that way. I be well, I've beaten gods too. Yes, my scrolls are four of the, full of the light of Buddha. From now on, I'll make, have to make sure I have to show my gratitude to those who freed me. Mm, I wonder if I'd be really okay to leave you alone? I can't change your desire to eliminate all yokai. However, if you're going to steal me away again, I'll resist you with all my strength. Yes, there we go. I'll be anyone who's a friend to yokai. Humans haven't changed since my days in the temple. How foolish and self-centered you are. Now in the name of the three treasures.
Wrapped. If not, then I don't care anymore. I've spent too many hours. <sighs> what did I do it the first time? Keep sweeping it over and over again.
goodness. Ah, that took so long. Finally. The Hakuday Shrine. It's a shrine on the eastern edge of Gensokyo. There was a little shade of snow left on the snow grounds. The cherry blossoms would probably be out soon. But Kai was just so creepy. That ship wasn't a treasure ship or anything. It was just a yokai ship bound from Makai. So boring, and it was totally empty. Was it? Wait, you went to Makai? Some were called Hokai. Out on the sticks of Makai. Still, if that ship wasn't a treasure ship, I'm not really that interested in it. But what happened to it anyway? You see, they say it's still floating around out there. You haven't seen it? Oh, my spring hibernation has been terrible lately. I haven't seen it at all. The next time I see it, I'm going to board it again. The next day, I even found the ship flying through the sky and boarding it once more. I finally found you. Why are you still flying around? It feels like I've been born again. Being able to fly around up here is so much nicer than Makai. Yes, that's why we were thinking about making this ship again to a Gentokyo sightseeing cruise ship. Sightseeing. Where do you all live, anyway? The temple. I lived in long ago. It's gone now. Well, anywhere would be a fine place to live, I think. This sacred palanquin was sealed underground for many years, along with my companions like Ichinin and Sho. We were finally freed at the end of last year. We're living on the ship until we decide where to stay. Hmm, I see. I don't think I'd mind wandering around you forever, though. Just flying through the skies. Hey, no, you can't just fly forever, around forever. The ship's going to cast huge shadows everywhere. That's true. I suppose it's better every third day of sightseeing on the ground, then. Roger that. The name was just they decorated their ship as a treasure ship in order to attract customers. The Akadon agreed and accepted her idea surprisingly easily, and so the rumors of the flying treasure ship that had been circling again so it came true at least for a while. The treasure ship cruise was popular among humans and yokai. Sometimes humans and yokai would end up on board at the same time, but the yokai were never hunted then. The Akadon was surprised how much the world had changed. The yokai were no longer victims. But Imu didn't really understand what Byakunin was on guard about, but she had an idea why Byakunin had been sealed away. She was too powerful and willing to aid humans and yokai without distinction, so the humans got mad and sealed her away. Nobody would fear powerful humans anymore, though. Byakunin and her friend, yokai friends would never be sealed away again. And number one, the cruise ship against Yokai Spring. Oh, crazy, they opened her just as I expected. He finally did. <laughs> that took too long to redo. So as it went for the one where all the background music was still playing, we'll try the extra stage quickly. See you there. Let's see how far I get this. My guess, not very. Ooh, I messed up last time. You have to wait until night to surprise humans. Umbrella sign, lightly falling with raindrops. Surprising rain, gorilla typhoon. Halo Kurakasa, surprising flash.
Oh, am I there? Nope. Made it! Wow, there's a lot of clouds out now. Where's that little snake? Looks like I lost it. Looks like there's, UFO, there's lots of UFOs around here. Though I'm not I'm sure there's someone suspicious around here. Hmm, I thought I heard something. A bird? No, this voice, it can't be. Congratulations on rescuing Hijiri. I never thought a human specializing in yokai hunting would be the one to find the fragments of the flying storehouse. The voice of misfortune. It's been serious yokai from ancient times. It's the voice of Nue. That's right, the unidentified, fantastic flying girl, Nue Hoju. I've never gotten to her yet. Still, even if you went all the way to Makai to save that monk, I was surprised you'd break open one of those imaginary UFOs and come chasing after me. So here it is, a mysterious flying yokai. I hardly ever show myself before humans, you know. You just spent too much time sniffing around for me. I suppose a human could go all the way to Makai and back like it was nothing that's so special. Well, what are those UFOs? I put the seed of unknown form in these flying storehouse. The seed that's tried to change shape into something its observer can understand. In other words, the UFO you saw was just a figment of your imagination. Really? It's not easy to believe it looked different to other different people. Oh, really? But you know, that's what pe happens to people when they saw me. They all had different descriptions, right? Well, that a new egg has the head of a cat, the body of a chicken, and the tail of a snake, right? Sure, but I've never looked like that when people saw me. People, people have different perspectives, so even the form I take has gotten quite vague over the years. It makes things very difficult. Well, it's also convenient. Convenient? As the OK, especially as being mysterious, makes it easy to play on people's fears. But now that you've seen me, I'll have to bury you so I can go back to being an unknown. Hmm. So that's how it is. Let's see how the legendary mysterious yokai is really made up. The humans who has forgotten the fear of the neck die from the terror of this unidentified flying object. Oh. Fun. Let's see what... How many spell cards will I survive? Zero? Probably zero. Ominous cloud. Hey, and dark clouds! Oh, whoops. I don't think I've ever really gotten to her before. Unidentified red UFO. Invasion of rage! Well, I've never made her before, but it's so cool. That's an accomplishment itself. Well, I hope you all enjoyed. I'm glad I was finally able to beat this. Phew. That took way too long. So, take care, everyone. I'll see you Saturday. Have a good day.